Hey guys, this is Pastor Howard. This is a great time of the season. I don't know what you're going through, but the Lord is right on the spot. What do I mean by that? Whatever you're facing, the Lord will be right there and He will help you face it. If you'll address those issues and, 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 and speak to those strongholds, address them, confess them, and then address them and give them to Jesus. Amen? You know, the, the ABCs of being a believer, accept, believe, and confess. Accept, believe, and confess. So I'm praying that God would just set you free right now. Whatever you're facing, the Spirit of the Lord is greater. He's stronger. I know what I'm talking about here. He's, he's greater. He's stronger. He can help you if you'll call upon His name. The Bible says that those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. One of the words for salvation in the Greek is deliverance. He can bring great deliverance in your life. We've heard so many testimonies here lately, in our, even in our Bible school. I've heard some of the students that are going through that, that said things like this. You know, God just came into my life and He just he gave me a new hope. He gave me a new future. And that's what God's all about. He's all about newness. The Bible says that He wants to give you a fresh, a fresh beginning, a new start, a new start. The Bible says that He's, He makes all things new. That word new in the Greek is fresh. He revitalizes you. I don't know what you're going through, but God is able to help you and He'll do, the Bible says in Ephesians 3, that He'll do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you could ever ask or hope. And this is the great part of it. According to the power that's already in us, according to the power that worketh through us. You see, if you have salvation, you have the power of God living in you. You can ask the Lord to manifest Himself. If you desire one of the spiritual gifts, Paul said earnestly covet that gift. Start putting a demand on God's Word. Say, God, I want to speak in tongues. I want to speak in tongues not for, for me, but, it's, but the Bible says it will bring edification to me. It will build me up. The Bible says in Jude verse 20, but beloved believers, Building up your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. It builds you up when you pray in the Spirit. I love just walking around the house and verbally just praying in the Spirit. It builds me up. It makes me feel like more than a conqueror. And isn't that how we're supposed to feel? You know, we, we go through thick and thin. We go through good times and bad times. But I am convinced that as I praise and as I keep my face toward the Lord and remember that He has everything in control, that I'm not in control, that He's in control. I've told this little story before, but when we first came to Crane Eater, there were some things that were going on. Just like there's hurts in every family's. And we were, it was a hurt, there were hurts here. And I could just, the Lord said, just put your hands in your pocket and it will unfold. I knew what was going on. The Lord said, I know a lot more than you do, Howard. Just trust me. And that's what he wants us to do is trust him. David said, some trust in horses and some trust in chariots, but I'll trust in the Lord my God. Amen. You can make it 21st century, can't you? Some, some trust in their, their money. Some trust in their property. But I'm going to trust in the Lord my God. Amen. It's, it's a decision that you make. It's a decision that will revitalize your heart in your life. 
before Jesus ever went through the hideous things that he went through, the, the five, seven days before Easter, before Resurrection Day, he prayed. And he, the Bible says in Luke 22 that he went to his usual place to pray. And it was in the Garden of Gethsemane. I'm not going to look there in my Bible, but I'm going to tell you about it. And the Bible says that he went to that usual place to pray. And the Bible says that he, he went, Luke says, it's, it's in all of the gospel writers talk about this event. That's how instrumental it was. And that's how instrumental it is for you to say, not my will, but your will be done. It's instrumental to really say that, to get down and really mean that. That it's not my will, Lord. I don't want to control these things. I don't know about you, but when I try to control things, they go haywire. But when I put them in the hands of the Lord, I do everything that I my hands find me to do. But when it's all said and done, I put it in the hands of the Lord. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I'm going to continue to believe and I'm going to do everything I can do. But I'm going to trust Jesus and he's going to do what he needs to do. That's a word for somebody today, that whatever you're facing right now, you just really need to trust Jesus. Maybe it's with your family. Maybe it's with your spouse. Maybe it's with the whole gambit of life right now. You're going through something. Maybe you're doing great, but you've, you're kind of on cruise control. Maybe you need to trust Jesus again. Maybe you need to come off of cruise control and be the disciple, the disciplined one. That's what a disciple of Christ is. Be the disciplined one that will say, God, I'll walk on the water with you. If you command me to come, I'll do what you tell me to do if you command me to do it, Lord. I, I won't do it without you, but I'll do it if you command me to come. In Jesus' name. What is he calling you to do? How is he speaking to you today? Maybe he's telling you to wait patiently. Maybe he's telling you to understand that you're on the rock. And if you're on the rock, you're going to be okay. Jesus is the rock. Let me pray for you. Father, I just pray right now that the power of God would manifest itself, himself to each and every person that the power of the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, would move and manifest even through the airways right now. In Jesus' name, allow your Spirit, God, to go forth and to minister to each and every person that is calling upon your name. And Lord, as we call upon your name, let us get beside ourselves and know, Lord God, that our Redeemer liveth, Lord, and that we are blessed individuals. I can't help it. We are blessed individuals. Lord, I thank you for our salvation. I thank you for delivering us. I thank you for growing us, Lord. We're going to continue to look to you because in you, all good and perfect gifts can be found. And we thank you in advance, Lord Jesus. Your credit's good with us. We know that you come through every time. In Jesus' name we pray, the strong Son of God. And the church said, Amen, Amen, Amen.